because at that point, quantum mechanics is not that old in the 20th century. So might have been a little uncomfy for, for, for these people and they had to kind of do some work about it, right? Uh, so anyway, however, it was realized early in the 20th century, early in the 20th century, so in the early 1900s, that uh, in order to apply Maxwell's theory in detail to atoms, ideas from quantum physics would have to be incorporated and also probably relativity, right? Actually, Dirac uh, turned some of those quantum mechanics equations to include relativity and they were then relativistic quantum mechanics um, equations, okay? So it was not until the work of Richard Feynman and others. Uh, so now we're getting closer to the title of this life, quantum electrodynamics. All of this was to motivate why we even need such a thing. Uh, but hopefully you get the context. So it was not until the, the work of Richard Feynman. You might have heard of this guy, Feynman. He has contributed largely to particle physics and what we're about to talk about here. So Feynman and others building on the work of Dirac. I just mentioned Dirac. Dirac is the guy, by the way, who took the quantum mechanics equations and turned them relativistic, that a full quantum theory of the electromagnetic force called quantum electrodynamics was developed. So basically, all of this is to say that we needed a quantum friendly electromagnetic force uh, or electromagnetic force theory or electromagnetic theory because of basically electromagnetic electromagnetism classically, even though is explained by James Maxwell and others, Michael Faraday, et cetera, um, with the electromagnetism equations, uh, we actually have a set of equations, Ma Maxwell's equations, they're called. So classically, we learn a lot and can use these equations and they pretty much tell us everything about everything. But if you were really, truly interested in understanding things at a um, 